I've been hearing a lot of moans and groans lately from colleagues and from people in groups about, oh, we're going back to school now. And, oh, my principal, they don't understand. They don't do this. And, oh, you wouldn't believe that the, the student that I have this time or, or the class I'm going to have. This is the time that I want us to go back to cause and effect. And I want us to stop living at effect and start living at cause. Yes, there are times that we don't have um, our pick of our of our students, of our coworkers, of our school, of our principals or administrators. So when that happens, what can we do to help make the situation better? There are going to be challenges up ahead of us, and I look at them as great. I'm going to have some new challenges to work on this year, and I'm excited about it. I'm not going to moan or groan. I'm going to be at cause. This is the job that I've chosen. This is the profession that I've chosen. These are the people that I choose to work with. Um, and if it's not ideal, I am responsible for how I'm going to proceed with the start of a new year, with this new classroom, with these new students. And I'm going to do what I can in order to make it a better working environment, a better learning environment. I am going to hold myself at cause, not live at the effects of my environment. I'm going to help hold myself at cause, hold myself accountable for what kind of year I'm going to have and how well I'm going to do. So let's stop, let's take a breath and let's be excited about the new learnings that we're going to have too with new students, new colleagues, and look forward to having a really good successful year.